What is up guys, it's your boy Cacus Perfected and today we have all of the secrets and the puzzles for week two of the Zero Hour Exotic Mission within Destiny 2 Into the Light. So this video will let you unlock more perks for your craftable Outbreak Perfected and importantly Rewind Rounds is this week which is huge and also get a new exotic ship schematic for that Zero Hour Exotic ship and so let's get started. Now, first things first, you will need to head to the tower and talk to Ada One. She has this week's new exotic quest for the Outbreak, the Outbreak Refined 2. The first thing you're going to need to do is head to the Exodus Garden to a Lost Sector in the Cosmodrome and just kill the Fallen within for a little bit of time and eventually you'll get enough of those SIVA clusters to progress the quest. The next thing you're going to need to do is go into the Zero Hour Mission on Legend Difficulty and find two more switches. So load up the mission and get started. Remember guys, you're only gonna have that 20 minute timer, so it's probably gonna result in you going in for one run and getting all the secrets done and then just reloading it and doing a run where you're full bore trying to do it as fast as possible to get the legend completion, which you are gonna need as well. And for this video layout, it is going to be kind of in the order in which you're gonna discover these secrets while going through zero hour. So. On your way to get to the new switch locations, we actually have uh, the new part to the exotic ship schematic puzzle. So when you get through those first areas where you're killing ads, you're going to want to make sure to dip around to the left here and grab a keypad. Now, you're going to move on from there and eventually, after getting through more areas with ads, you're going to get to this area here with the parked ship. So you're gonna jump down past the back of the ship and through this vent to, as you can see, access a new console. When you access that, you're going to have around 45 seconds to shoot the correct symbols. So the three symbol locations are one under the stairs right here, another one near these stairs, and then the last one in the left corner right here. So remember, you're going to have to, when you do activate uh, that console, look at the symbol on the console and shoot the correct ones. You can see me do that here. I go back to the console to see the new shape. I shoot that one and then by process of elimination, the third one is the odd man out. You just shoot that one and then you're going to see sequence accepted. From there, you're going to carry forward through the legend difficulty zero hour mission as you normally would until eventually you get to this like open chasm right here just after the missile silos section. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually head all the way to the end and activate this switch in order to extend the platforms as you can see right here. It's gonna be way easier to do with the platforms extended. Then you're going to double back uh, to the second platform from the start and like the first cubby hole where you would kind of first jump uh, without the platforms extended and then you're gonna activate this switch here. That's going to give you that 30 second catalyst switch primed timer. You're then going to you know go forward through this chasm, head through the vents and then as you can see just around the corner of this red pipe you have the other switch you need to activate right here and that is going to complete your quest step and update it. And of course, the next step of the exotic quest is to beat Zero Hour on Legend difficulty. But as you're continuing forward from there, you're running through uh, the mission as you normally would. Eventually, you are going to get to the floor is lava section. So right here, you need to run the correct route through these tiles to avoid getting your entire team incinerated. And it's actually going to rotate daily depending on the threat of the mission. So don't worry guys, I have you covered. Here is all of the different correct pathways uh, that is for legend difficulty depending on those threats. So the day I'm doing this, it's void threat. So we simply ran the void threat route. and. The same thing goes on for normal difficulty. So if you do want the normal difficulty routes, here they are right here. However, you should also be able to see the normal difficulty routes like painted on the wall. But 
Regardless, that's where you're gonna need to get past this section. Now, right beyond the floor is lava section, we have the second half of the puzzle to get that exotic ship schematic. So, in doing that new console puzzle earlier, you've actually unlocked a different room in this area. It's going to be this diamond room right here. And this screen is going to tell you what objects to activate in what order, but ain't nobody got time for that. Let's just go over the solution. So you're gonna start with this object here on the front of the pillar when you first walk in, then go to the immediate left on the pillar right here, After that, you have to jump up to hit this one right here. Then you're going to go outside of the room and on the very far opposite edge of this area, you need to activate this one right here. Next up, turn to your right and activate this one further along that wall. And then head all the way back to the room where you first started and activate the last one on the right side of the pillar right here. That's going to give you a new intrinsic perk for your outbreak and the second part of the exotic ship schematic. Now after that, the only thing left to do is defeat the boss on Legend difficulty. And I do want to shout out that I put on the Cloud Strike exotic sniper rifle after seeing its performance against a Rahulk in Pantheon last week. And yeah, that thing was amazing. It does a ton of damage, especially if you have the Catalyst giving it triple tap. And it's just a great addition to your arsenal because rockets are great. And you'll see we did use rockets, but man, they're going to run out of ammo and sometimes you can be screwed and left with a boss like half dead but the cloud strike is going to be fantastic for uh, taking down those servitors taking down the original boss before he's in the brig and also taking down uh, the fallen walkers without using up too much of your heavy ammo regardless guys uh, get that boss fight done then you're going to complete uh, that exotic quest from a to one as you can see, you head back to the tower and interact with Ada One, and she's going to give you the Rewind Rounds perk. Overall, I actually think Rewind Rounds is probably the best thing for PvE to put on your Outbreak Perfected. Like, this is going to essentially double your magazine size, reloading it with half of the magazine based on the number of hits, and then doing that again and again until it's eventually completely out of ammo. And not to mention, this is combined with the fact that Bungie announced that pulse rifles are getting nearly a 40% damage buff coming within the final shape to red bars like pulse rifles are going to be slapping in the final shape so definitely make sure to be doing this stuff and fully upgrading your outbreak because it could be a monster in the final shape guys that is it for the video hope you enjoyed and found this informative if you did please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video if you guys want to see more destiny 2 content similar to this don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity the best way is to follow me on twitter at rick Kakis, that is linked in the description down below again i hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day